Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today I thought I would do a little tips and tricks video on how I got into FITM, also known as Fashion Institute of Design and Merchandising. I know it's like a pretty hard school to get into and it's really creative based focused. So I thought I would do a video on what I think helped me get in. So the thing with FITM, and it's actually kind of funny for me, is this is the school that I have wanted to go to since maybe fifth grade. I have, you know, pictures of myself there when I was in seventh grade. I have, you know, letters that I wrote while I was in seventh grade talking about how much I wanted to go to FITM and it had I, like, gotten in yet. It was like a letter to my future self. So obviously the school is very important to me. It's just such a different school and not something you see very often and they have a lot of specialized majors and they have so many connections in the industry and that's really why I wanted to attend it so badly. If you want to see what the little tips and tricks that I use to get accepted, then keep watching. So I'm going to tell you about the application process first and then like my tips and tricks that I use along the way. So when you go to FITM's website, you do the first initial application, which is just like your basic information and then you pay a $25 fee. After that, you'll be connected with an admissions advisor who will either call you or email you or connect with you in some way and you're gonna talk about timelines, what's in the future, and all that stuff that you need to know to get your application in. I would recommend taking the career quiz on FITM's website to see which major is best for you because they have a lot of similar majors since there's so many specialized majors. They have a lot of majors in the same field but not necessarily the same exact thing. So I would definitely recommend taking the career quiz to see what's best for you. Following that initial application and the phone call with the advisor, you're going to start on your portfolio and your essay. Each major has its own portfolio that you need to submit since each major is so different they need to see your work and what you can basically bring to the table and I would recommend really really reading over the instructions many times I did it for maybe I read the instructions for maybe like a full day like over and over before I even started my portfolio personally I applied to the social media major so my portfolio was I had to write um, a blog post I had to create my own company and talk about the demographics I had to create like social media posts so I had to do like Twitter Instagram and Pinterest posts but they give you like a bunch of different options but those were the ones I chose and you have to do like multiple of each and really really take your time and I would recommend not looking at other people's applications because some of them are on YouTube and I did that and it really made me second guess myself and want to change stuff after I had already submitted so don't second guess yourself it's not worth it it's just it's too much stress and anxiety you do what you do you do what you do best basically once you submit your essay and your portfolio then you need two letters of recommendations from teachers or college counselors or people like that and so they will submit those directly to your advisor and once that happens your advisor will be in contact with you to set up a time for your interview so if you live in California or near one of the campuses then the interview is most likely in person but if you're like me and don't live anywhere near California then the interview would be over the phone and the interview is with the director of the school and right after the interview while you're still on the phone they tell you yes or no which is really obviously very nerve-wracking um, I like thought I was gonna pass out it was like I was so anxious but obviously I was anxious over nothing and everything turned out great and I can't wait to go there some tips and tricks I have to better your chances or what I think bettered my chances one what I said before make your work your own work don't try to act like someone else just really show your true self through it two stay in contact with your admissions advisor don't be afraid to ask questions that's what they're there for you can send them rough drafts of your portfolio and they can tell you what you need to change what they think could be better 
So they're really there to help you and to accelerate you into the program. The next thing I would say is create a face-to-face -face connection. So basically what I mean by this is if you go on FITM's website, you can see all the places that admissions advisors are going to be in your town and I would recommend really going to one of those. At first I thought it was kind of stupid and my parents my parents convinced me to go and once I did I was so happy because I made like a really good connection with one of the advisors and she was so super sweet and she like loved me and she said she was going to like tell the director about me. I don't know if she did but if she did that definitely bettered my chances. I would also really take your time and constantly look over your work because FITM is so geared toward creativity and not necessarily like traditional schools. So they really focus on unique students and people that can bring different things to the table. So I would really take your time and make sure that you don't have any spelling errors, make sure everything is you know in the right place and centered in the way you like it and there's just so many little things that you could focus in on that could just make it like that much better so i would really recommend doing that that's what i did i took i finished my portfolio in about maybe like a week and then i took like another week to just like nitpick every little thing and i think that really helped me get it in and same with the essay just really be true to yourself don't try to make yourself sound better than you actually are and my last tip is to make sure you know what you're getting into. FITM is a school that's on the quarter system and it's really fast paced. So each quarter is about 10 weeks and by the fifth week, so after like a month and a week, you're already at midterms. And then after like a month, another month, you're already at finals. So you have to be like ready to be very, very fast paced. It's all just very fast paced, like go, go, go type of school. So with all that being said, I'm so excited to say that I am going to be attending FITM in 2020 uh, in the Los Angeles campus and I am beyond thankful and excited that they accepted me as a student and I honestly cannot wait to start my journey there. So I hope this video was helpful and I hope you liked it and if you did make sure to like this video and subscribe and I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you.